Should we uh, do the new releases? Sure. Let's I think we've all been playing the, the big one this week, right? Yeah. Well, one of the big ones. We haven't been playing Madden NFL 23 unless Wombat. I did. Well. I downloaded the 10 hour demo and I played the that, you know, the first game that they make you play, although I skipped it after a while because I had enough of that. And I did the first set of um, Madden Ultimate Challenges. That's it, I, though. Do I have to? I have to get this one this year because, it, like, the Bengals are going to be one of the default teams, right? Does this yeah, still be that yeah. Thing? Mm-hmm. Or the Super Bowl matchup is the default teams? Yeah, I think so. When you start the game, I think so. Don't don't. Quote don't me. They must. I mean, they must. It always does that. Yeah. Madden didn't exist the last time the Bengals would have been <laughs> one of the default teams. <laughs> it doesn't exist now either. I oh. mean, just download your 10 hours and it'll be free by the Super Bowl. That's how it works, mm-hmm. usually. That's how it's been the last three years. You're not going to play more than 10 hours of this. So just well, get your 10 hours. Get is Cheapy going to play more than 10 hours of uh, Saints Row? No. I'm Probably already, not. I'm out already. I've been playing a little bit. I didn't. I don't think I played any today, but I've been playing since we got it. And you know, technically, I'm I'm on vacation, but we've also kind of been stuck in the house. So, yeah, I, I played. What do you like about much. it? What do I like about it? Mm-hmm. I like that it does. It's a very, at its core, an unpretentious video game. It's nostalgic, if anything, with a nice coat of paint on it. Where I'm just running around shooting things and. That's about it. Like I don't, I don't, I'm not overthinking it. It, you know, what about this coat of paint that you've. I know it's the graphically. It could be better. I'm not it gonna. Could be a lot better. I think it gets better once the game, once you get a little more in it. Are you past the gets... prologue? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm probably about three hours in. I've done okay. like maybe five main missions. Okay. Um, I mean it's. It looks okay. It looks good enough. I don't know. It doesn't look like a like a current gen game. Come on. No. It, no, it, it looks it like looks, it look it looks like a really nice Xbox One game. It looks like an Xbox One game. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say really nice. It it looks like a mid tier Xbox One game. <laughs> um it's, it's it's not as fun as the other games. It's like not the, as fun. The, the problem though is not it's the characters. No, the yeah. the characters are not as good as Johnny Gat and um oh uh, what's what was the girl's name? Kinsey? She, I remember that she, name. She she was the FBI I, lady. Yeah. She, not she but it was something like she wasn't it? Was her name? Something like but the yes, old no, characters the, were better. The a other lot better. the other gang members in the in Saints Row the Third were more fun and more charismatic. These guys are just kind of like, and here, where are these people? It's the writing. And, it's the writing. Yeah, know. the writing is not there. That's what I'm saying. Like, the game itself is fine. It's very reminiscent. It's, it's a game you've played a hundred times before. This is just the most recent one of those. But also... It's the worst Saints Row game. I don't know if it's the worst. It might be better than Saints Row 2. No. No. That was funny. It was very That's funny. Yeah. yeah. And, and oh. Saints Row 2, like, you hadn't played this that many times that many times yeah did you this, even this notice one, my it, saints row shirt i, I see your saints row shirt I know. um i mean one, saints row third the third is probably still the best of them yeah th- this one i'm gonna keep playing it i guess i don't know there's no punishment for playing it you're just kind of you're just kind of going from mission to mission and it's very like the, I don't know. I like, would say, if anything, it suffers, and we talked about this literally on the show before this game came out. It suffers from here's a big map for big map's sake. You're going to do a lot of driving from point A to point B, and yep. it's wholly unnecessary. Yeah. Here's a lot you're of. You're not un- even like, like, there's a mission early on that you're like talking to somebody on the phone while you're driving, and, and you're like asking them, like, hey, you're part of this gang. Where do you think they would have taken this, these items that they've stolen? And they're like, I have no idea where they take them. And then like, at the same time, the game has you on a purple line driving to the, to the mission start point. Like it just, just start the mission. Yeah. Start the mission. mission. You know where I'm, you know where I'm going. These characters don't know where I'm going, but the the purple line on the road, you should be able to fast. If this in a perfect world, you'd be able to fast travel to every mission start. 
instead of having to drive to where the mission starts. And they always, and they make you go back to your headquarters to start the mission. And then they're like, all right, now you got to go to the first place. You got to go to the drop-off site, which is a, you know, 3000 whatever is away. Yep. So you better get in a car and start driving. And I'm you like, get to the I- drop-off site and then they're like, Oh, we got to go this other place. And it's another 3000 <laughs> yeah, clicks away. 3, some, something's away. Um, yeah. And it's stupid and it's unnecessary and it's just there as filler because to be honest, the driving isn't that fun. You're not doing, you're not going to stop and do something when you're in mid mission driving from one place to another. You want to have driving there when I'm not in missions. That's fine. You want to have missions that require me to drive as part of the mission. That's fine. But don't make driving part of well i don't know because we want this game to be 10 hours longer you now have to drive from place to place it's annoying it's annoying it's disappointing it's Mm -hmm. it's i don't know like there hasn't been a big game in quite some time maybe that's the other reason why i'm playing it yeah as much as i am is i don't really have anything else to play and i'm not hating my time with it Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's other than the driving part. It's it's not like it's uh, a yeah. it's really when you're painful in a room, to play. Yeah. When you're in a room when it's like 20 guys or more and you have your even the pistols are fun to use or the machine guns and you're just mowing people down and they're flying all over the place. And you you pull a guy close to you and you put a grenade down his pants and you push him into a group of five and everyone blows up. I mean, that stuff is still fun and silly and satisfying. But I don't know that it's satisfying. I, it's not. I, not it, it seems there's something there's a disconnect here on this game, at least when I'm playing it. It was like they've set up all these big, wacky set pieces. But they're so hand holdy with it that it just feels like I'm not really playing much. Right. Like there, there's like the scene early on where you're like hanging on to a, a jet, right? Like on the outside of a jet. That's and mostly cut scene. It is. And that's what a lot of the the action sequences are so far is you're you're grabbing onto the top of a car and then you're shooting some people on the top of the car. And oh no, this car is blown up, but now it's pulling up next to another car and the A button comes up and then you jump to the other car and you do the same thing again. Um it just seems like the set pieces are there. The gameplay and the writing just aren't carrying this. Mm-hmm. But. I won't disagree with you. I'm, I'll keep playing. I'm hoping that, that I don't know. Why not? I don't know what I'm hoping for. Exactly. I have nothing else to play. So <clears throat> anyway, is there anything else that came out this week? Uh, I played some of Curse to Golf. Oh, how is that? Uh, that's uh, it's pretty fun. It's a, a little two dimensional golfing game where you get struck by lightning at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. And then, <laughs> sorry, somebody yeah. was yawning. It was distracting. <laughs> sorry, it's what and... I do. I don't even notice it. It's not. It's not a personal thing. <laughs> Narcolepsy. Yes. Um. So you get struck by lightning, and so your character dies, and so then the the game premise is that you're playing through eighteen holes to get yourself back alive at the end, right? Like you're, you're fighting your way back through the underworld by playing through this, this golf course. Um, so, uh, it's, it's a lot like any of these other, I don't know. I play a lot of these like 2d golf games cause yeah, they're, I don't they're know. Fun. They're relaxing to me. They're, they're, yeah, they're fun. They're relaxing it's like physics. It's like just physics, right? You're yeah, just like, it's just, it's just physics. And yeah, it fun. has like some power ups and stuff involved with it as well. The writing is, is clever. It's, um it's enjoyable to play so curse the golf i've been playing that nice. i bought that on uh on xbox but nice. it's out on on everything i believe yeah i was on his pod the guy who made that i was on his podcast like a million years ago oh i was gonna say when were you on someone else's podcast a million years ago yes. and then yars recharge came out as well but i have not <laughs> played that one yet no i'll look forward to your review i i want to play it mm-hmm. like uh I, I I don't know. Atari's coming back. They're not they're just speaker hats anymore. Not. I don't think they are speaker hats anymore. I think I that's the old regime. Regime, mm-hmm. and now NFTs. they've got a new regime where it's like, hey, we have all these games licenses that we have. Why don't we uh, 
just spend a little money and put out some like easy to make games that are yeah. fun at the same time like build up your Atari I bought, you know, licensing. And, I, say, I haven't bought any of those games. Is there one that's particularly worth my time? Um, I mean, all of them are are pretty solid that I've played. Did um, you see the the new Atari collection that's coming out? I did, and that's another good move on their part. Right? It has like, things through the links on it. Like it's yeah. not just the it's not just the Atari twenty six hundred games because they I feel like they put out those compilations every other year this is something that actually goes through a little bit more of the canon and i'm curious to see how that turns out and how that looks so anybody else play midnight fight express it's on game pass i saw it on game pass but i didn't play it it's pretty fun it's you know your arkham style hand-to-hand combat but with like a minimalist sort of cartoony look um it's fun. If you like uh, those type of stylistic, you know, you, the more, the better your combo, the more points you get and the better grades you get and you unlock shit. It's, it was pretty fun. Definitely should check it out if you have Game Pass. Uh, Cine- Centipede Recharge. Start with that one, Wombat. That's the okay. winner? Centipede is the Recharge winner? Is, is, is a good <laughs> is one. That, is that a good one? Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. Start, start there. Maybe I will. Maybe I will, Millhouse. Maybe I will. 